Are you wondering if you should upgrade to a bigger HDB flat or a condo or don't do anything at all? You know, you can just stay put and live happily ever after. In this video, I'm going to cover the first four foundational questions you should ask yourself so that you'll be upgrading into an affordable home that meets your mid and long-term goals and even your wants. Hi, I'm LC from Hero Homes and we help you make the best property decisions based on your needs and affordability. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. All the links that we mentioned in this video can be found in the description box below. You've been living in your current HDB BTO flat for the past five to six years. Suddenly, all your neighbors are gone. You know, some of them have um, gone to a bigger HDB flat. You know, some to uh, new launch condos, some ECs. You get it. Everyone is doing something now. You're thinking if you should also understand more about your options. You know, you don't want to like uh, miss out on what's happening in the market. But there are just so many choices, so many options, and you wonder what is the best choice for you. So after going through 320 over cases in 2021, we know the questions and even the answers to your upgrading dilemma. Plus, when we are done, I'm going to share with you on how you can continue on from these basic foundational questions and explore more in depth about your property upgrading options with 100% confidence. So let's jump right in. So number one is immediate needs. The first thing you want to ask yourself, is there an immediate need to upgrade? So what are immediate needs? Everywhere you go around the house, the kids appear, there's no privacy and the kids are getting bigger. You need a bigger space. You even have to work at home. So that is an immediate need. And yes, you need to upgrade to a bigger space. Another type of immediate need can be you want to relocate near to your desired location, usually closer to your elderly parents who need some attention or you need their help to attend to your kids. So you want to live nearby. For all these things, you need to upgrade or relocate now. For a lot of uh, HDB upgraders, you will be killing two birds with one stone, right? So most of them upgrade to a bigger uh, HDB flat and then they also relocate nearer to their parents and then also they'll be getting the proximity housing grant of uh, $20,000. But for a small group of people, it's also about cashing out. They just want one lump sum of cash in hand. They want these uh, property profits to use to pay off for whatever you know they need to pay off. But I feel like selling your property for cash should be the very last and final resort. Uh, these are just examples of immediate needs. Okay, You need to upgrade now. You need to do it now. You need to relocate now. If you are facing these immediate needs, then I suggest you do the next best thing, which is um, apply for your free two-hour hero upgrading essential zoom with us okay from there you'll understand more about your net profits um you know your deposits your exact monthly installments for the next property you know uh, we'll even share with you on how to find value uh property buys you know avoid um, cash over valuation which is quite rampant nowadays so just click on the link above and then uh, apply for your free two-hour zoom session if you don't have immediate needs to move then you just go to the second question which is long-term needs the only example of a long-term need that i can think of is retirement so if you have a long-term need to retire well, yeah, you obviously have to do an upgrade to a better property. Because the typical Singaporean will sell their property when they have retired at 50 or 60 years old. They just buy a smaller property, a HDB flat. Usually it's cheaper and then they use the difference, you know, usually the profits to retire. Okay, so they just take the money and use it for their month to month living. But the question is, can you retire with a decent income from your current property when you sell it off 25 years later? Like most Singaporeans, the quality of your retirement depends heavily on the value of the property that you are downsizing from. Unfortunately, most of us won't be retiring from our CPF. A typical example uh, of the right retirement strategy would be for a, a recent client in their 60s and they just sold off their condo for uh, $1.4 million. So eventually they bought a 500k HDB. It's like they made a U-turn and they are left with $900,000 or around $2,500 per month until they are 90 years old. But if they bought a HDB flat for 25 years or they stayed on their old HDB flat for 25 years, they didn't move or upgrade, then they would be selling off a 600k HDB flat. And if they bought a 500k HDB flat, they'll be left with 100k for the next 30 years which is like $200 plus per month which is very scary but of course if you think your retirement planning is all figured out you know you're making 500% returns from your crypto or you love reading financial news every day and earning 7% um, annually from your stocks then you don't need to upgrade to a condo for the sake of retirement you want to own a condo because you need to or it's just a one. But if you're worried about retirement like most Singaporeans, then I suggest you explore owning a better property in this case. From a mid to long-term financial perspective, it should be the right private property and then make a U-turn 20 or uh, 25 years later to a HDB flat. So in this scenario, you must upgrade most likely to a private property. So number three is once, all right? Once is basically something, you know, um, you just want to buy a condo. I'm tired of people talking about needs and wants, you know, and how uh, wants are a bad thing, uh, like an afterthought. It's not wrong to want to own a condo to achieve a certain lifestyle as long as you are not making other people's lives miserable. Maybe you regularly entertain your families and friends and you want them to be comfortable, you know, maybe uh, do up a barbecue for them, swim in a private and safe space, or they have young children and they enjoy swimming. 
It's a weekly activity and you want them to do this in a safe environment. Or maybe you just want to celebrate a life milestone, you know, to be uh, the owner of a condo, you know, one of the five Cs. If you go for your ones, you're on a thrive, you grow, achieve, uh, just take care of your basic needs first, you know, a shelter. That means you are able to afford your uh, monthly installments uh, comfortably. So in this case, if you want to own a condo, then you obviously have to upgrade to a condo. So number four is affordability. Now that um, you think you either have an immediate need or a long-term need to upgrade or you just want to upgrade to a, a private property or a bigger HDB flat, then the next question is, are you able to afford it? Okay, Can you afford a condo or even a bigger HDB flat in the first place? Take note that affordability means different things to different people. For example, I've seen a couple earning uh, 10K flinch during planning to top up $1,000 cash monthly. Okay, I've seen single income earners with 5k uh, looking forward to topping up 1k cash for their next property uh, because they are used to saving 1k per month. Okay, so there's no use wondering but you should find out if you can or cannot. So the very first thing to do is to find out exactly how much loan you can get for your next property. That is the maximum amount. Of course, you don't need to use up all of the amount, only use the amount that you need. Just walk to um, any bank that offers property loans like DBS, OCBC, UOB, Maybank. Tell them that you want to do an approval in principle. Okay, take this down, approval in principle. And they'll ask for your income, age, monthly expenses. Um, and within a week of the application, they'll update you on the approved amount. Assuming um, you get an approval in principle for around a million dollars one week later, this is how you calculate how much is your max budget, right? From the sale of your current property, let's say you have 300K CPF and uh, 100K cash. So that is 400K. And then your estimated maximum price for the next property is around, you could buy uh, between 1.2 to 1.4 max. Do take note that this uh, approval in principle is not confirmed, but it's close to the approved amount that you'll be getting. So try it carefully. The next thing is, visit CPF's uh, monthly loan installment calculator. The link is in the description box below. Just type in the loan amount that you are planning to take. Okay, do take note that if your installment is 3K, you don't actually have to pay it all uh, using cash. You can use your CPF OA to pay for it if you have enough of it. Okay, you'll only need to pay cash if your CPF, like your monthly CPF, can't cover the installment. Uh, but remember, this is just uh, you know a surface calculation, right? It's just a rough idea. There are a few strategies to make sure that you don't have to uh, top up cash monthly for the next 10 or 20 years. That's why you can apply for the free two-hour Hero Homes Upgrading Essential Zoom, and you'll be able to find out specific techniques based on your income to avoid paying monthly cash. In conclusion. So if you have the means to go for a condo, then go for it. Uh, what looks expensive now will look cheap in the future. With inflation, property prices can only go up. You need to have a long-term perspective when it comes to property in Singapore. You know, after 2008, you know, you have to hold a property for more than 10 years if you want to make profits from it. If you're thinking of short-term profits, then it's only through new properties, new launches. You have to take the first move advantage. You can just sign up for our two-hour uh, Hero Homes uh, Essential Zoom. Okay, we'll go through your finances thoroughly and you'll get recommendations based on your own needs.